I'm Cindy Grisdello from Reston, Virginia, and I'm the creator of A Taste of Summer. I'm an artist who creates in fabric and thread. Um, I have explored a number of different um, mediums uh, throughout, my, throughout my career, but once I found um, this method of creating where I can create a graphic design in, um, in fabric and then add texture to my compositions with um, thread stitching, I was hooked and I never looked back to the, any of the other ways of creating. I have a degree in art history, and so I'm very, I've always been very interested in abstract painting and abstract design, and I do feel that that, that, has, um, that, that has an impact on, my, on my, my current work in fiber, just because I, I love, you know, the, you're, even though I'm working in fabric and thread, the design principles are the same, you know, color, line, shape, uh, balance, all those things. I've spent the last year um, of, the, of the pandemic uh, kind of exploring color palettes that are not um, my, I'm, I'm usually a very bright, you know, sort of um, primary color um, uh, palette. Uh, and so I've spent this time exploring different color palettes. And this one was um, inspired by a painting by Paul Clay, who's one of my favorite um, modern painters. I've been sewing since I was 10 years old. Um, and quilting for, I don't know, probably 35 or 40 years, but I didn't really turn it into an art form until uh, the last 15 or 20 years. Um, and it's a process where I am using a tool called a rotary cutter that's a round, uh, basically, blade in a, in a housing. And I'm using that as a drawing tool. And I'm cutting these shapes, these curvilinear shapes, freehand, um, with my drawing tool and then using the sewing machine to sew the shapes together and then um, and then I once I have the shapes I Arrange them and rearrange them so that they create these interesting uh, connections and, um, and, and and new shapes new lines and shapes um, and then after that um, after it's all sewn together with the machine then I use um, a, a, another sewing machine uh, to um, add in the stitching lines that create the texture that's so wonderful. So I've been a member of the Art League about five years this time. Um, I was about 10 or 15 years ago, I was a member for maybe another five years, so, um, um, so maybe 10 years altogether, but most recently I've been a member for the last five years. Uh, I can't remember exactly what year it was, but it was probably around 2005, 2006. Um, I got, a, I had a quilt accepted in an Art League show and was the first time that I had had um, a, a piece of my fiber art accepted in a non-fiber exhibit. So that was really, really exciting to me. And what was your reaction to winning Best in Show? <laughs> I was in shock. I didn't, you know, I didn't, I, you know, I didn't believe it. I thought, wow, that's just so incredibly exciting. I'm so honored and grateful. Thank you. Do you have any advice to newer Art League members for submitting their artwork? Just do it. You know, it's just, it's, it's really, you know, back in the day when we used to have to bring our work down and, and leave it and have it be, you know, be juried and then come back and pick up what didn't get, you know, what didn't get um, accepted. Now with the system that you guys have that you can do it all online, it's so easy. And every month you have an opportunity to get your work shown. It's really, I just, I know, I just think it's fabulous. Um, I have a solo show coming up in December 2021. Um, and it's going to, um, I haven't, I haven't uh, decided exactly on the title yet, but it's going to focus on shape and texture. Um, and as I said before, you know, I believe that creating with fabric and thread um, uses, in, in, in the way I try to do it, it uses a lot of the same uh, design considerations and design um, um, ideas that you would use if you were painting or um, creating in any other different kind of medium. So that's what I want to show, that, um, that creating with fabric and thread and creating shapes and adding textures um, is um, you know, a, a really an interesting way of creating art, not just of uh, creating uh, fiber work.
Again, I'm just very grateful um, for this honor and, uh, and I think uh, Heart League is wonderful.